with a blunt object, not pointed, blunt, from the heel, heel towards the little toe and then medially. Have you lost it? Suppose this is sole, plantar, foot, okay? This is blunt object, okay? Scratch outer edge, the blunt object towards little toe, this is little toe, outer edge, it's slightly medium, like this. If you do like this, then the response is flexion, flexion, like this. So the reflex arm is here, the receptors are touch receptors. Because I am touching here, I am just touching. So it's stimulation of touch receptor. Afferent sensory branch of L5 S1, lumbar 5, sacral 1. If you remember L5 S1, that is okay. No need of remembering lumbar or sacral. L5 S1. Center in the spinal cord, spinal segment, L5 S1. Equivalent motor branch of L5 S1. If you remember L5 S1, sensory branch, spinal segment, motor branch, L5 S1. Yeah. And the effective response is plantar flexion. It is called as plantar flexion. L number 5 sacral 1 These are the spinal segment in the spinal cord through which the nerve arises motor nerve and sensory nerve Ok, it is clear? Now I will ask in the examination of ASPI I will give a picture that the plantar reflex without any naming then I will ask what is this reflex? Then you have to identify that that is a plantar reflex. And I will ask write the reflex arc. So you have to write like this. Subcar, that is subcar, afferent sensory branch of alpha S1, center spinal segment, efferent motor branch of alpha S1, and effector response, plantar reflection. Clear? So same thing I will ask in the ASP. This is how they are doing plantar reflex. So this picture will come? Maybe, inshallah, or like this other picture like this same, you can understand. Uh, and this question uh, uh, about yes, this picture? I will give this picture and write up here, I will write the ASPI question. Identify the reflex. What is your answer? Yes. And I will ask, write the reflex arc. What you will write? Yes. Then? Yeah. Apparent. What is apparent? Yeah. Yes. Then? Center. Yes. Center. What you write? Then? Different. 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 L5, S1. Okay. Then? Response. What is the response you want to write? Dorsiflexion of the foot. Dorsiflexion of the foot. Dorsiflexion of the foot. Yes, sorry, sorry. Plantar flexion. Plantar flexion of the foot. Yes. Yeah. Here, this type of question I asked in the hospital. So, these are many examples are there. So, out of that, one or two come. Now, what do you mean by Babinski's sign? So, what is the important of applied aspect of plantar response? The 
This is the plantar reflex. This is the normal response. Plantar flexion. You see, flexion of the toe. All the toes. All the toes they are flex. This is the normal response. A person is normal, like you or me. If do plantar reflex, they show this type of response. Okay. Plantar flexion of all the toes. This is the normal response. This is Babinski's sign. Abnormal plantar reflex is called as Babinski's sign. Opposite. Dorsiflexion of this great toe and fanning of other toes. Dorsiflexion of great toe. Normal response is like this. And this Babinski sign, what happened? Dorsiflexion of the great toe and fanning of the other toes, like this. Abnormal plantar reflex. Okay. I will ask another question in that. What is Babinski's response? In OSPI, same three questions I will ask. One, what type of reflex? Write the reflex R. And what is Babinski's response? So what is Babinski's response or Babinski's reflex? Abnormal plantar reflex in which dorsiflexion of the great toe and fanning of four toes, other four toes. Fanning, fan. Okay? Abnormal plantar reflex is called as Babinski's sign. It is seen in the following conditions upper motor neuron lesion. There are two types of neuron in there in the brain. One is from brain to the spinal cord, they are called as upper motor neuron. Another neuron is there from the spinal cord to the muscle, they are called as lower motor neuron. Muscle is here, brain is here, spinal cord is here. From the brain to the spinal cord, upper motor neuron. From the spinal cord to the muscle, lower motor neuron. Center, center is in the spinal cord. And then for the upper is the center. Upper is from the center to the spinal cord. So you don't confuse that. Just remember that what will be upper motor neuron, lower motor neuron. When you will be in the CNS block, then you understand all of this. Then infant less than one year. In fact, a baby less than one year is Babinski sign for them, but that is normal response. Babinski sign is there even though that is a normal response. Why means? Because in a one less than one year child, there is a non-myelination of the neuron. Neuron covered by myelin sheath, myelin sheath is there. So there is non-myelination leads to the Babinski sign, but this is a normal. Normal. Okay? No, no. What, what is the question? So, baby, baby you feel, feel, but the response is opposite. Uh, so, so no. Normal. Normal. Okay. I may ask another question also. Write any two condition of Babinskin sign. What you write? Upper motor neuron vision and infant less than one year. Hmm? Questions? Write two condition of Babinski's sign. Write two condition of Babinski's sign. Upper motor neuron region is one year. Deep sleep. Yeah, Deep sleep means yeah, yeah. like a coma or deep sleep. Then hypoxia. What is hypoxia? Less oxygen. If a person is exposed to severe hypoxia, then that also shows the Babinski sign is positive. Okay, it's clear. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now this is the second reflex, abdominal reflex. Second superficial reflex. What we are discussing? We are discussing the superficial reflex. Abdominal reflex. 
How tall is it? Yes. Subject is lying supine, relaxed with abdominal uncovered. Okay. And is stroking abdominal wall with a blunt object like this. Like this. Okay. Blunt object. So what happened? Receptors. Okay. The response is contraction of the abdominal muscles. Yes. Contraction. Receptors again touch receptors because superficial reflex touch receptors. Apparent T7 to T12. Thoracic. T is thoracic. Thoracic 7 to thoracic 12. Center. If you remember the first one, this is for all three. In all the flags, if you remember the root value of first one, this any number, then it will be applicable for three. Sensory branch, spinal septum, and motor, same. Okay. Sensory branch of P7 to P12, and center is the spinal segment P7 to P12. And what will be the motor? Motor now P7 to P12. Simple. Okay. And the response, effect of response is the abdominal muscle contraction. Abdominal muscle contraction. That is clear. Now we go for the next reflex. Scapula reflex. Where is the scapula, you know? Where is the scapula? No, this, this is scapula. This two sides of the scapula, and this is called a scapular region. How to elicit? Stroking skin in the interscapular region. So this is called as interscapular. This medial. So stroking the interscapular region. Receptors again touch receptors. Why touch receptors? Why touch receptors? Yes. Good. Apparently, sensory branch of cervical pine to thoracic one. Center is spinal segment C5 T1 and different is motor branch of C5 and T1. <coughs> And the response of is contraction of the scapular muscles. Here some of the muscles are there, they are called as scapular muscles. They will contract, yes. Contraction of scapular muscles, okay? Yes. C5 to T1? Yes. C5 to T1. C5, C6, C7 and T1. Now the reflexes based on based on the cranial nerves. Cranial nerves, you know, in the brain uh, 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Number one is the conjunctival reflex. Where is conjunctival, you know? In the eyes. Like this. 
like this swap just touch the conjunctiva if you touch what happen to tell me if you touch i touch what happen blink closure so the receptors again touch the receptor superficial reflex here it is important afferent sensory branch of fifth cranial nerve that is five geminal nerve fifth cranial now you remember that fifth cranial nerve that is the afferent center is pons pons is a part of brain in the brain different is a motor branch of seventh cranial nerve okay here two separate cranial nerve one is afferent sensory that is fifth motor is seventh facial nerve center is in the pons branch with a part of a nerve if a nerve divided into two part there are called as two branch like this suppose the nerve is coming here and it is divided here so this is one branch this is another branch okay so what is the response doctor all this is no Right. All the and no. It's normal. All this have been no. Yes. No. No. Let's go outside. Okay. What? What is saying? Go through. Toilet. Toilet. Bathroom. Bathroom. Don't go there. That, that is prohibited. You know? Huh? That, that is female side. That ah, door is ah, female side. Oh. <laughs> Don't touch there. <laughs> And the effect of response is contraction of orbicular capillary muscle. This muscle is called as orbicularis capillary. Helping closing and closing of the eyes. Okay. So that leads to closure of eye. Clear? Yes. Corneal reflex. Where is cornea? You know? Where in the eye? Listen here. <clears throat> this is on the eyeball. This black color. Again, there is a transparent membrane. This called as cornea. So how to is it? You touch the lateral edge of the cornea here, like this. Touch here, and the response is same. Closure of eye.
when the light is switched off and the pupil will dilate. Light is switched off, dilate. If I put a light here, I'll put a light here, this is pupil. <coughs> so they will contract. When the light is removed, then again dilate. Yeah. Now, 